February the 9th, 2020. Guys, uh, there's an event going on tonight that uh, you may want to check out, especially you guys on the East Coast and the Southeast. You may can see it if, if the weather uh, holds up. And it's been really nice. It's uh, here in central Mississippi, 70 degrees, 58% humidity. You really can't ask for much better than that. Now, it's starting to cloud up later in the evening, bits of clouds and sun, but it's really been a beautiful day. But along the east coast, and uh, you see the map here, guys, it's uh, going to be a rocket launch. It's an Ateres rocket. Uh, it will lift off from the Wallops Island, Virginia home. It's a small launch facility along the Atlantic coast of the Delmarva Peninsula. The launch is slated uh, for not long from now, 5.39 p.m. Eastern, just moments after sunset. And uh, in this picture, guys, you can see where the last time they launched an Atari's rocket from there, you could see it from over D.C. Now, that's a time-lapse photo, so you're not going to see that streak. You'll see an orange ball, but it won't have blinking lights. It's an unmanned vehicle. They're launching uh, supplies to the International Space Station. It says the launch may be visible, weather permitting to residents throughout the mid-Atlantic region and possibly the east coast of the U.S., under ideal conditions, make major rocket launches like this can be seen as far away as Philadelphia, New York City, Raleigh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Now, we're also in the middle of this super snow moon, is what they call this uh, bright full moon. So, But uh, this is going to be early, again, 539 uh, East Coast. And uh, by looking at the map, you can see how, depends on how close you are to the launch site there. Do you see that... Uh, it will depend on how many seconds it takes for it to rise high enough for you to see it in the sky. It says all signs are pointing toward Mother Nature cooperating with the launch attempt at fairly tranquil weather is forecast along the coast of Virginia Sunday evening. While the day may start with a shower too, dry weather is expected Sunday afternoon through Sunday night. This is coming again from AccuWeather. The temps will be in the upper 40s at launch time. Now, that's up on the East Coast. It's, we're in central Mississippi, so it's warmer. But you do have a light southerly breeze at 5 to 10 miles an hour. There can still be some clouds around, but dry weather is expected. Now, they're saying a 90% chance of good weather for the launch. Despite this forecast, there could be one weather factor that hinders the ability of those looking to catch a glimpse. High clouds across the region may make it difficult to see the launch from areas far away from wallops particularly to the north and west of the launch pad if the launch for some reason what would be delayed it would uh they would try again tomorrow but there's a, a chance for rain the guys up in the north far northeast that storm that came through there was something you know there was an international flight that left uh, the east coast today made it to london in five hours it broke all records it's because it had that powerful storm uh, on its tail now that's a video in itself on how the arctic vortex is very tightly wound because of the uh, temperature and the every once in a while it will break out over a certain region in the northern hemisphere and that's what we're seeing there mixing with warm moist air and in europe it's happened a couple of times and so that's kind of a blessing in a way that it's doing that but uh, that's why it's been milder in a lot of areas this winter but to, i'll do a video on that will show how concentrated that cold air is in that region also on our website guys at bpearthwatch.com new information coming in from across the globe about uh, thing events in china check that out go to the bottom of the page sign up for the newsletter a lot of you guys have been doing this and that what that will do uh, is allow us to contact you about new information regardless if we're taking off of uh, patreon or youtube or vimeo or anything like that you never know but our website's been there forever just all you got to do is put your email address in no name or anything like that and uh, a lot of you guys have gotten today's information already about two I think very important uh, articles. But guys, we're watching it. Uh, keep an eye out on this. It may be pretty cool. Be safe.